Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to start a new series of tutorials on Sandbox from Alexander Zolotov. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. And indeed, if the giveaway is still open, you should find in the video description um, instruction on how to enter the competition. Please do check the video description and please check that uh, the winners have not been announced yet, which again you find in the video description. Okay, let's kick off. So when you launch uh, um, Sunbox, you should see a screen like this one. Of course, I've just launched it in standalone mode, but it works also as an AUV3 compliant app and it's uh, really multi-platform. Uh, cross-platform so it works on Windows, it works on Linux, Android, iOS, Palm OS etc etc. So click on close. The first time that you actually see a sandbox it's a little bit intimidating. There is a lot on the screen that is going on so I'm going to take this opportunity on the first video on the getting started video to give you a little bit of uh, a guided tour of what you have around the screen so that, that um, when we progress with with other tutorials and more advanced tutorials you know what to do and how to navigate. So first of all um, go here where you see this icon click on it and you have a menu. So click on new project and then select empty. So we're not going to select anything from any template. So now you have a better view. So it's easier to understand. So first of all, this icon as I'm showed now is a menu. So then you can click outside to actually um, close that menu. Where you see this hamburger um, icon again, that is another menu like so. And therefore here, there is another menu like so. And another one here as well. The other thing as well is where you see this icon here, you can click and hold and uh, move up and down if you have a, a mouse or you use your fingers and then you can change the size of a different section on the screen like so. And this one you can do it as well vertically and horizontally as well. The same for this one you can do it also horizontally. Okay, the same on this one as well like so. And you have a timeline view here as well which is uh, um, really nice and then also where you see arrows like these up and down if you click hold and drag you see in this case um, like um, um, your um, equalizer view and spectrum view as well as I will show you in other tutorials as well similar here you see two arrows you can move up and down to scale the size of the keyboard so um, lots going on so the top one section is a little bit what um, used to be actually on the first Commodore Amiga music programs where you could record notes with the velocity and the name of the notes etc etc and uh, and you go on through different steps which are included in a pattern and then you see the pattern down here on the timeline view and that is the icon representing the pattern. It's not um, one of these QR code, but it looks like one of those. Double click on it, and then you go on the pattern properties. Okay, and here, for example, you can choose the number of tracks, the number of lines per pattern, etc., etc. And you can also click here and have access to change the icon. So, for example, you can change the background color, blue here, green, and red, and also the foreground, and so on. So you can choose as you like, and then you can clear it or close it, okay? Um, you can access the icon to change it here as well. So click on here as well, and then you can also make some changes here on the screen, like so. Okay, perfect. Um, and let's close these, uh, um, these screen, these uh, um, patterns uh, um, properties. Now, if you click on the keyboard, you don't hear anything. And this is a creation tools. It has modular inside. It is um, audio unit compliant. It has a sequencer and a tracker as well. So where do you find the modular so that you can actually play some sound? Well, let's make space here in the middle. And you see this output here, this output module, like so, right? So you can see that if I click some anywhere on the screen in this section, there is this cross, like so. So double click on it. And it gives you this menu as a lot in it. 
But anyway, let's click on drum synth and you can double click or click on it and then select, okay? And as you can see, I have um, now instantiated a drum synth module. Now, um, you can see also the property on the left hand side. So let's give it a little bit more space and then you can change the property moving up and down like so. If I click on the output, there are no properties. Again, if I click on the drum synth, there are, no, uh, there are properties. Now, if I click on the keyboard, you can see there is some action there, but um, no sound is produced. And that's because I need to connect the drum synth module to the output module. How do I do that? I click on this icon here, right? And then I select the destination, in this case, output. And I create uh, something from drum synth, which was selected to the destination output. Now let's play. <laughs> Really nice. And now you can see, let's drag up here and now let's press some note. Really nice. For different frequencies, you see the different levels. Okay, so let's uh, hide that as well. By the way, I haven't um, mentioned, but uh, this is a timeline. So here you can see, you can change the size up here of, of the ruler and you can drag and drop also this button. Okay, in terms of position, the pattern on uh, the um, timeline. So, if I want to add another module, for example, reverb, where well, it's very simple, double click on it and choose reverb, like so. And then you need to make a connection. So you press on drum synth, then you press on these for a connection, you go to reverb, then make sure the reverb is active, you do the same to output. Now you have also this arrow, which is going from drum synth directly to the output. So click again on drum synth and then the link icon and then check again on output and you remove that um, connection. So let's try now. Of course, press on the reverb and you have on the left hand side option, which you can change or property settings for that particular reverb module. So hopefully so far, so good. Now we want to enter some notes here on the pattern. So how do we do that? Okay, so we need to unlock the um, pattern. There is this icon here, click on it. Okay, now it is unlocked. Now I click here, which says, um, it gives you the ability to insert step every, sorry, notes every zero step, one, two, let's say every four. So I click on, on C4 can see he added C4 here and then he moved to the um, step number four and let's keep doing that. Okay, if I press play now. Okay, probably a little bit too much. So let's reduce that. Yeah. Uh, so let's change again. Okay, that's um, a little bit better. Don't want too much. Okay, let's leave it like that. Okay, let's try to add uh, something else. For so, for example, um. Let's try that one. So we open up again the pattern. We move um, to these um, uh, click and drag, and you see it moves um, down here to step number four as you hold, and then you can start insert note. And we want to move actually this time by uh, instead of uh, uh, four by every eight steps. So. Like so. So let's play now. Okay, perfect. So you can see how um, this was done. Let's scroll down. Let's scroll around to see what has happened here. Okay, perfect. Okay, and so, and you can continue like that. So you could add, for example, uh, something else on track number two or track number three and then um, you can bring in additional module and so on and so forth. Let me also show you um, something here. If I move the pattern right at the beginning and I press play again. So 
So it continues. The reason you we, you were even a little bit opposed a moment ago is because the pattern was moved to the right. So let's click play again. Okay, so hopefully um, this first tutorial is uh, easy enough to understand and hopefully it's not too scary as a first encounter for Sunvox. It's a really, really nice music um, creation tool and um, I hope you enjoy and as always, see you next time. Bye.